one interesting challenge this morning with you guys, which is that what I have planned to do this morning, Ilka actually did yesterday. It, it pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> Ilka did yesterday. And we don't talk much, you know, once in a while on Skype. We don't live in the same house. You know, we're not married, so how that came to be that both of us had the exact same induction in mind or the exact same kind of energy work with the morning rising, the morning energy, the morning light, and all of that is kind of remarkable, isn't it? So as a result of this, we're not going to do the mystic morning meditation because you did that <laughs> yesterday. We're going to do something else instead. And I've asked my higher self what we're going to do. And the answer to that is we're going to do one of my favorite things of all time. And I mean that. I have played with methods and techniques for many years, as you might know. I've created many, many more than you will ever know that never saw the light of public day. Because for one reason or another, I thought I'd better keep that quiet and not frighten the children. But this particular one, this particular one, is absolutely so profound and profoundly useful that I'm delighted that Ilka has created that space for me to do that with you this morning. And that is the concept that time is my friend. Making friends with time. Would you like that? Yes. Okay. There are many different ways of doing that. Just have a moment's thought if time really was on your side. <coughs> it is. Really, 100%. Not just on your side. We could take that further and say that time has my back. Notice the difference in energy there between time is on my side, which is here, which is nice. It's a protector. You're walking together, energetically speaking. And time has my back. Get a sense of that for a moment. If time had your back, what that would do, what that would feel like. And take that even further still and say, okay, that's nice. Time is my friend. Time is on my side. That's nice. How can we, you know, bring that up even higher? Well, an easy way of doing that is to say time is my lover. To a human being, that brings in a more intimate relationship, a more um, first circuitry type of relationship, a more grounded relationship. Imagine you could make love to time. You'd have to have a time orgasm, wouldn't you? <laughs> no wonder what that would be. Like. <coughs> I'll leave that thought drifting. Not so handy when you're in the midst of traffic. Drifting with you. Oh. Tell you what, so we're going to do that in a moment and we're probably just going to do simple modern energy tapping and then everybody can play along whether they're, you know, experienced energists or not. But before we get to that, um, I'd like to tell you some of the effects that it's had, that I've uh, done that when I did that. Time is my friend, time is by my side, time has my back, time parts the sea of reality for me. Nice. You know, come to think of, okay, so that makes me not exactly master of time, but something else, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I liked the one time was at, at my back. Yeah. I felt myself uh, being <coughs> pushed forward in greater strength. Yes. Mm -hmm. To step back into the grand universal procession. You see, one of the problems with human beings is that they know that they are going to die, and therefore they're trying to reverse, literally, reverse. Turn time back, turn time back. Stop time, stop time, stop time. Stop it, stop it. I don't want to be here. I don't want to, don't, uh, uh. But the truth is that there's the great universal procession. Everything moves forward. All the stars, the ants every grain of sand, everything. The idea of a circle of life is completely erroneous and destructive to human beings. 
know, when they're singing in the Lion King about the circle of life and holding up the new Lion Baby, that's a completely different Lion Baby than the last one that was held up. Not one blade of grass is the same. Not one piece of rock is the same as it was when the last Lion Baby was held up. We're talking of great golden spirals here, people, and that is the universal procession. It's that flow in which everything exists and of a river of time, a dance of creation from which human beings have stepped away in their fear of death. And that's understandable, really it is, you know, it's really understandable. But the fact is that death isn't the end, as we have discussed, can't be energetically speaking, wouldn't work if it was. We have souls that want to grow and go on. And so when we step back into that river of time, and we come back into that experience of being on the same path as the suns and the galaxies, and the rivers and the mountains and everything else in creation itself, that is so enormously empowering, it's unbelievable. And it has side effects, right? It's a part of this, and I don't like to use that term, but I have to use it again, being the master of time, what does that mean? It means that time serves you, that time is something for you that you play with, that you can do something with, where you're not a hapless victim, you know, bobbing crazy like a cork down this crazy river and there's a big waterfall at the end. But instead, to be like in control of your vessel, that you can take it to the future, to the past, up and down and to multiple universes and everywhere in between. So this has then these practical, simple little side effects, like for example, to declare when it is morning. If you want morning energy, you can say that as a master of time. Now it happens to be morning right now. But I can evoke morning at any time simply by singing a little German morning song. Let, let's hear it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you probably won't understand the words, but I'll just give you a. It's Guten Morgen, Frühe, das ist unsere Zeit. Wenn die Winde um die Berge singen, die Sonne macht dann die Täler weit. Und das Leben, das Leben, das wird sie uns bringen. The words say is uh, the early morning is our time when the winds are singing around the mountains. The sun makes the valleys wide and brings us life. And that's an energy raising. And we are not here to raise energy through folk songs, which would be a wonderful workshop to really evoke the words and the energies that somebody in the Middle Ages put into that song and feel that in your own living body and learn something in the process of that. But I only need to sing that song and it is morning. And it doesn't matter if I've been up for 12 hours, if I'm exhausted. That's what I mean by being sort of the master of time. There are other things. I just saw Alex sitting there and he's written this lovely book on the energy of attraction, how to be more romantic and more engaged with human beings in a romantic scenario. You can be in a coffee shop with somebody, and if you are the master of time, then you can evoke 3 a.m., the magic moment, the magic time at parties, when people are finally ready to communicate and finally ready to connect and approach people with the 3 a.m. energy. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine other applications of this? Jet lag. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I just suffered from <laughs> Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. You know, um, once you understand this whole time thing, how that actually works, how it feels in your body, and it stops being this scary monster, this time monster that is chewing at your physical body. 
and instead becomes an angel, becomes your friend, becomes your key to freedom in a way that very few people have ever experienced. You can do all sorts of funny things. Yes, yes my darling. I like to see time as a space where I can step in. Okay. Yes. And it's a kind of protection here. It is a protection, absolutely. Um, I find that when we start to anthropomorphize things, entities, that we get a better relationship with them. We are human beings and our energy systems are designed to interact with other human beings, right? So an abstract concept you get so far. When, when you then turn that into an entity that is your friend, that is actively <coughs> wanting to help you, that loves you, that fancies the pants off you, that absolutely adores you, that is in love with you. Wow! That is a totally different energy. Can you feel that? And I'd like to make the little point that if you are like a theoretical mathematician and you get to the point where the numbers become like that for you, what kind of calculations will you be able to create? You see, that's on a totally different level of achievement, of in intelligence, of organic intelligence, if we're actually using our human system. So, would you like to make friends with time this morning? Yes. Wonderful. Then please put your stuff down. Rise to your beauty. Rise to your beautiful feet. Ah. You ready for some real energy transformation? Yep. Yep. Ready for an enlightenment experience? Yep. Or two? <laughs> we have many points to tap, right? Okay. So I'm just going to make a little setup here before we start. I'm just going to make a little setup before we start, which is that I would really like, in this particular exercise, everyone, everyone, to have a real experience of the power of time and the mastery of time, and to be so fearless of time. The opposite, to be in love with time. Okay. So let's point to the place where we would say, that's me, that's I. Deep breath in and out. Place the center of the palm of your leading hand over that place, and then your other hand on top of it. And that is the heart position. Let's take a deep breath in and out. Oh. Let's do it. Oh. Notice how much better that is when you put a little bit of voice to it. Let's try that again. It's oh. <laughs> nice, isn't it? I like that. Cool. Okay, right. I want to fall in love with time. I want to fall in love with time. My time. My time. My personal time. My personal time. Time, my personal friend. I am my personal friend. Okay, let's tap lightly, like you're closing an electric circuit. Breathe, deep breathe in, in oh. and out. Oh. Time is my friend. Time, Time is my friend. friend. Deep breath in and out. Time is on my side. Time, Time is on my side. side. Time is always on my side. Time has always been on my side. Time has always been on my side. Time will be on my side forever. Time will be on my side forever. Deep breath in and move if you feel any energy sensations that are asking your body to move and improve the energy. I open my mind, heart, and soul to time. I open my mind, heart, and soul to time. I welcome time. I welcome, I welcome time. Time is my friend. Time is my friend. Time, come to me. Time, come to me. Fill me with your power and energy. Fill me with your power and energy. Love me. Love me. Time 
time empower me. Time empower me. Deep breath in and out. Gonna tap the tip of our nose for extra magic. Reveal to me the magic of time. Reveal to me the magic of time. Time's magic. Time's magic. Time's magic. Time's magic realms. Time's magic realms. Time's magic realms are opening to me now. Time's magic realms are opening to me now. That's nice, isn't it? Yep. Ah, interesting. Thank you, time. Thank you, time. Thank you for your wonderful gifts. Thank you for your wonderful gifts. I'm sorry. What about I'm not sorry. It's up to you. <laughs> oh, we've all sinned against time, so <laughs> let's try that again. I'm sorry, time. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> I just didn't understand. I just didn't understand. But I want to learn more about you. Yeah, I, I want, want to learn more about you. And I want to experience your living reality in my body. Oh, I want to experience your living reality in my body. Very nice. Very good, people. You're doing a good job. Deep breath in and out. I want to be in step with time. I want to be in step with time. I want to be in the flow of time. I want to be in the flow of time. I want to be joyous in the flow of time. I want to be joyous in the flow of time. Excellent. We're going to tap the chin point as well. I'm not afraid of the future. I'm not afraid of the past. I'm not afraid of the present. I am in love with time. Very, very good. Okay, that's a colorful voice, very jinky, tapping notes. I want to dance with time. I want to dance with time. I want to sing with time. I want, I want to sing, sing with time. time. I want to sing and dance together. I want, I want to sing, sing and dance together with time. With time. My friend. My friend. My, friend. My lover. My lover. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm feeling very much serenely happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, serene, serene time. Serene, serene time. time. Peaceful time. Peaceful, Peaceful time. time. Blessed time. Time. Sparkling, time. Sparkling, Sparkling time. Oh yes, I'm loving that. Okay. Time fountains. Time fountains. Time spirals. Time spirals. Uplifting winds of time. Uplifting winds of time. Time is the wind beneath my wings. Time is the wind beneath my wings. Time is the wind beneath my eternal wings. That is not lovely. That's really nice, isn't it? Oh, I give and receive the blessings of time. I, I give and receive the blessings of time. Wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. In love. In love. In love. Totally fearless. Totally fearless. Totally fearless. And oh so relevant. And oh so relevant. <laughs> oh. I'll share the joy of time with others. I'll share the joy of time with others. Yeah, people need to fall in love with time. People, people need to fall in love, love with time. time. Beautiful. Oh yes, beautiful time. Beautiful, beautiful time. time. Beloved time. Beloved, beloved time. time. Uh, my heart, my heart has time. My heart, my heart has, has time. time. I feel time in my heart. Yeah. Yeah. Time the power, power of time. The power of time. In my heart. In my heart. And I feel the power of time in my mind. And I feel the power of time in my mind. To help me think clearly. To help me think clearly. And beautifully and in love. And beautifully and in love. And I experience the power of time in my soul. And I experience the power of time in my soul. To make me happy and make me whole. To make me happy and make me whole. Time is my friend. Time is my friend. Now and forever. Now and forever. Thank you, time. Thank you, time. Oh, and how was that? Lovely. Was that lovely? Yeah. yeah really good. Oh, really lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Can I say just one little thing? Of course you, you know, can. While you were saying, Sylvia, um, I am not afraid of the future. 
Mm -hmm. I felt I wanted to say I am fearless of the future. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is a personal mm -hmm. journey. And please take this home, and in a quiet, beautiful moment, a quiet, beautiful moment, you know, when you feel the stillness creeping into every sound, do your own thing with time, your own personal thing with time. I spoke on behalf of the entire group here today, and I thank you very much for that, and I hope you're going to take the blessings of time, make them your own, and experience how absolutely marvelous that is. So thank you very much for your time. <laughs> thank you.